one of the top Xfinity Series teams, has a lot of silly season moves going around them, and that is Junior Motorsports as they're signing potentially one of the best young talents with a familiar number, and then two drivers might be heading out the door. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. One team that always seems to stay busy is Junior Motorsports, pretty much an ever-changing lineup with Junior Motorsports. I feel like every year there's a couple of new drivers either driving part-time or driving full-time and we're going to have another very different lineup from Junior Motorsports in 2025. Let's start with the confirmed news. As earlier today, it was announced that Junior Motorsports is signing one of the best young talents in the sport today, and that is Connor Zilich. Connor Zilich is actually under contract with Trackhouse long term, but essentially a similar deal to what what Trackhouse is doing with Shane Van Gisbergen at Colleague and a Zane Smith at Spire, essentially loaning him out to Junior Motorsports. And Connor Zilich isn't only racing full-time for Junior Motorsports, he will be racing full-time in the legendary number 88. Over the last couple of seasons, the number 88 has been used in the Xfinity Series for the occasional different driver, but mainly for Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s starts in the Xfinity Series. Connor Zilich will actually be making his first start for Junior Motorsports and in the Xfinity Series here in a couple of weeks at Watkins Glen. I personally expect him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Shane Van Gisbergen for the win. We'll have to see what happens, but a very bright future for Connor Zilich. I've Mentioned it multiple times here on the channel. I think very highly of this kid. I think he'll be a cup champion one day. I'm not sure when that will be. I would probably guess maybe five, six years from now I can see him being a cup champion. He just has so much raw talent. He's hasn't really raced ovals. I think the summer of 2022 was when the first time he really started racing ovals. And you see him out there competing or even getting wins in ARCA and even on the Cars Tour as well. So I'm very interested to see what he could do next year in the Xfinity Series in the number 88 for Junior Motorsports. Decent amount of road courses on the schedule. I think he'll get at least one, maybe two wins. But he's improving even quicker than maybe a Shane Van Gisbergen when it comes to to his oval racing. Very interested to see what he could do. All right, now on to the two drivers that could potentially be leaving Junior Motorsports at the end of the season. First, we have Sam Mayer. Sam Mayer has been at Junior Motorsports for a couple of years now, has performed very well, especially on the road courses. He's made it very clear that he really wants a Cup Series job, and there's been a lot of rumors that he could potentially be going to Front Row Motorsports next season in that last car. We'll have to see what happens there. But that I ultimately think Sam Mayer is going Cup Racing next season, and that's most likely why this is coming out. And even this tweet from Bob Pockris kind of, not necessarily confirms it, but confirms that there is talks with these other two drivers that could potentially have them out at Junior Motorsports, whether that's getting a Cup Series ride, moving somewhere else, or just parting ways with the team. Which leads me into the next driver being Brandon Jones. Brandon Jones, honestly, has really struggled this season with Junior Motorsports. There's been a couple of races where he's had really good speed. Indianapolis is the first one that really comes to mind. First of all, because it's so recent and he was very fast there. But he has not gotten the finishes this season that I think Dale Jr. and everyone at Junior Motorsports really expects 
from the race team. And also, Brandon Jones is, has torn up a lot of race cars, whether whether that's of his own doing or not. He's torn up a lot of race cars this season, and it's really unfortunate to see. Brandon Jones is one of those very interesting cases of drivers. He has great backing. He has Menards backing him 100%. But his Xfinity Series career for me has almost been like a roller coaster when it comes to his improvement. I feel like there was a couple years there at the very beginning he was improving. Then I felt like he just kind of leveled off. And then he started to improve some more. And then this season I would I had some pretty high expectations for him. I thought maybe he could have a little bit more chemistry with Junior Motorsports, fit into that race team a little bit more. But ever since he's gotten to Junior Motorsports, I think he's struggled even more in that number nine car. I'm not sure what is the future for Brandon Jones. I would assume he's racing full time in one of the three series, whether it's Cup, Xfinity, or Trucks with that Menards backing. But I'm not sure where he lands next year, whether that he could be back at Junior Motorsports. I would not be surprised because they still have that fourth car. But we'll have to see what the future is for Brandon Jones. Nothing has been announced that he's leaving or staying. Same thing with Sam Mayer. Nothing has been announced that he's leaving or staying. And we'll have to see how this story pans out for Junior Motorsports. But give me your thoughts down below. What do you think about the future for Connor Zilich? I have such high expectations for this kid. I think he could win the Xfinity Series Championship next year. I kind of want to see how he does in these few starts that he has then I'll really make a decision on that. But I think he will be a contender and in the playoffs next season. And overall, I think he will be a cup champion one day. And what do you think is the future of Junior Motorsports for next season? Like, what do you think is the lineup? Do you think both of these drivers leave? Where do you think they go? Do you think either one of them stays? Who do you think maybe replaces them? Because there will be an open spot at Junior Motorsports. Who maybe gets that fourth ride if both these drivers do end up leaving to other teams and other ventures. Also, if you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week, but that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.